Hey you guys, just a short video tutorial on how to uh, edit your levitation photos. So we're going to go ahead and open the example. This is for the practice that you have in Canvas. After you've downloaded your two files, we're going to open those up in Photoshop. So we've got our photo with the model and then we've got our background. So what we want to do is click on the Move tool and we're going to drag that up to our background, come over here, press the shift button before you let go, and that will automatically center uh, the photo on top of the other. You won't have to worry about adjusting it. Once we've done that, we're going to make sure we have our top photo selected, the one with our model over here in the layers panel. We're going to click on the layer mask, and now we're just going to use our brush tool like we have in the past, make sure we have black selected. We're going to go a little bit bigger of a brush. I'll zoom in just a hair. And then we can just start painting over what we want to disappear. I recommend using a softer hardness so that you don't have real defined lines. If you notice, if I go real hard, we've got those lines around the edges of where we're erasing. So if we use a softer brush somewhere around 15, 20, we can get rid of those lines and we can just paint away. Now, when we get up here where we have a little more detail, one thing we can do is maybe just select the stool so that we don't have to worry about erasing because, let's just give you an example, if I miss and go above, then I'm gonna start erasing uh, our model here. So, if I, I just go ahead and use the lasso tool, we'll do this really quick. You're going to take more time and do a better job, but I'm going to just click and I'm going to drag around the edge of the t-shirt here. I'm going to come along here, go along his arm, the sleeve. I didn't go far enough. We'll fix that. Okay, and then I can come around here because this bottom part won't matter as much. So. Let's go ahead and add a little more, get closer to the sleeve. Try that. And I think we're pretty good. Remember, if you hold the Alt, you can subtract things. So if we went too far, like on that shirt, we can come around here and subtract a little. Anyways, now when I click on the brush tool, I can erase away and I can go up here and even if I go over here it's only going to let me erase what I've selected. So that's an easy way to kind of mask things off for, so that you're not accidentally erasing anything. We go ahead and deselect that and now go along that edge to get rid of the lines and we erase the rest of the, the stool. Now, if you notice, on this one, I didn't have real loose clothing on my son. If he would have had a jacket that could have fell over the stool, it would have looked a lot better. One thing, if you kind of end up with some spots, uh, you can, uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually flatten this image. And I'm going to go up here to filter and down here to liquefy. That'll open up a new window. Let me drag it over onto the right monitor here. and. Whoops, let's go plus, we'll zoom in a little. Let's go full screen. And this flat area here doesn't look real natural, right? If he was hanging off of um, the edge of, or if he was levitating, his shirt would have been draping down. So I can use this smudge tool and I can just kind of try to drag this down. You want to do this just little bitty bits at a time. Uh, and we can just kind of get a little bit more of a curve. Again, I'm just doing this real fast. You'd want to take your time and hopefully do a little bit better job. But instead of there being a really flat kind of surface, it's going to add a little bit of curve. And uh, I'm just going to hit OK there. And so the before, real flat, a little bit less. Um, but again, if we use loose clothing, let it fall over the stool or whatever you're using, it's going to be better. If they're standing on their feet, that's, this isn't much of an issue. So hopefully this helps you edit. Uh, do this practice first before you shoot so that you kind of know what you're doing and uh, have fun creating your own levitation photograph.